KPI dashboards are powerful tools that provide a visual representation of key performance indicators, helping you monitor and analyze your business performance at a glance. With business performance analytics, creating these dashboards are incredibly easy. Thanks to its intuitive drag and drop functionality, you can quickly assemble and customize dashboard to match your specific needs. Whether you are tracking financial metrics, operational efficiency or customer satisfaction, BPA makes it simple to visualize your data and gain actionable insights. In this lesson, I will teach you how to create meaningful KPI dashboards. I will create a new report, clicking on this new. I will give a name, KPI. Select Power BI, start with a blank template. Our report is created with the name of KPI D65 Academy. I will click on it. I will click on edit. I will remove this defaulted one. At first, I will use some slicer. Here I will add legal entity. Legal entity I will get from dimension ledger. Legal entity name. I will change the slicer settings drop down. I will create another slicer. Maybe I will just adjust this. I will add currency, dimensions, currency. Here also I will go to slicer settings and bring it drop down. Here I will use currency type. I can get this currency type from field parameters, currency type. I will change this to drop down. Now I will select say reporting currency. Next one I will use accounting dates. Bring one slicer. Accounting dates I will get from dimension, accounting, accounting date hierarchy. Date. I will remove this month and all and I will keep only the date and in the slicer settings I will keep between so I will change this to 2015 to 30 so our slicer settings are done now we will bring KPI to use KPI we need to use this KPI design from the build visual I'll click on this this will come to a screen. I will resize this one. Here I will use the KPI whether we have achieved or the organization have achieved what was the budget and versus achieved for revenue. To do that, first I will use value, the general ledger amount. I will go to matrix. In the matrix, I will use general ledger from here. General ledger amount. This is the achieved one. And in trend axis, I will use quarter or month or any year. So for that, I will use quarter. To use quarter, I can use dimen dimension date accounting and I will use quarter. And in the target, I will use budget. How to get the budget from the matrix? You will see budget. In the budget, you will bring the target in the budget. So basically, my target is budget. My trend axis 
is quarter and my value is general ledger amount to bring the filter only to revenue i will use this filter expand this one and here i will bring the main account type so all the main account type having the main account revenue will bring will be coming into this filter and this revenue versus achieved will be showcased in the kpi one to get the main account type i can get this from general ledger amount general ledger hierarchy and type i will bring this type here and from the type i will use revenue as a filter so now you see the value is changed i will just minimize this one not this one now if you see this is my kpi that what was the goal and what is left to achieved for this accounting date if i change it to 2023 and 30 so maybe i can change it to 2023 only so the budget was something and this is left at around 185 173 to be achieved and if i further try to make it nice like here in the icons i can just maximize this one in the trend axis i can change colors uh, in the targeted level also i can change the values colors and distance to goal i can change it to value like this and in call out value i can change this value from auto to thousands like this i can change it to millions like this so i can do many things like in general i can uh, beautify this one that uh, say in text i will say revenue versus budget right i can change the text color right so this is one kpi we have created now we will create another kpi using another kpi in the dashboard we will just bring it to beside of this revenue versus budget and here we will use the expense versus budget for that we will bring the general ledger amount in the value and in the trend axis we will use date which is month this time last time we have used quarter this time we will use month the next one in the target we will use budget the same we have used in the last one we'll go to matrix budget and budget amount so now we have everything but value is not coming for to get the value we need to get the expense from the general ledger hierarchy as a type and from there we will select expense and profit and loss you can you can use only expense as well expense and profit and loss now if you see the value will come see the green option is coming automatically because last time it was over it was not meeting the target but this time it has made the target so that is the reason it is coming as green so now we will just uh, go to the uh, visual and change the uh, title and i will just change the color rest everything you can change uh, on your own like i have shown in the last kpi one now we will use line and clustered column chart and we will resize this one here in the x axis we will use the month and in the column y axis we will use general ledger amount and in the line y axis we will use budget 
budget amount from the matrix and in the filters we will use the type and from the filter we will use revenue now our report is created we will use clustered column chart the next one resize this one and in the x axis we will use type general ledger hierarchy and in the y axis we will use general ledger amount from the matrix we will use budget amount from the matrix and we will also use budget amount variance in the matrix from the matrix now in the filter we will use the main account type from the general ledger hierarchy dimension and in the filter we will use equity liability and asset you can use all as per your own so now this one is also created we will go back now you see this kpi report is also created a dashboard is created and you will use cluster column chart once again here the main account type will be different but the same methodology we will we'll use in the type we will use general ledger type in the y axis we will use general ledger amount budget amount from the matrix and budget amount variance from the matrix and in the type we will use the profit and loss account okay now saved it now our report is ready so now if you see the dashboards are created and if you want to change the report name, you can also change it from title, from general. Just change the name, KPI. You can uh, further make it nice, make it colorful as per your uh, choice. I have just changed it to green and uh, background to green. And text to white. That's it. So by this way, you can create as per I mean, lot of dashboards, KPIs with using the business performance, business performance analytics.